Ah, uh, good evening, Facebook family. Good evening. Pastor Wilkerson coming to you tonight, live on this Tuesday evening. I know we are ready for some spiritual warfare today. I am ready, looking forward to it. I want to thank you for joining me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for this opportunity that we have to come together and pray, hallelujah, in this spiritual warfare, in this moment. So let's go ahead and take some time. Let's get this shared so some other people out there can view um, this live feed, this live video, put it on your page, put it on your story, share it because somebody needs prayer besides you and I this afternoon. So I just want to thank God for you. Thank God for this opportunity to share this prayer with you, to just be in the house one more time before God's people, loving on you all, just, just wonderfully blessed. Beautiful day that the Lord has made. I'm still happy, still rejoicing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good evening. Good evening to everyone who's joining me. Hallelujah. While I share this Tuesday evening spiritual warfare prayer, you know, I just thank God, like I said, for the opportunity to be able to do this, uh, to be able to uh, help somebody who needs prayer, somebody who needs to know that there is somebody out here standing in the gap for them who's not ashamed of God and who's not afraid to stand before God's people and just pray on all of our behalf because we all need prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Turn the screen off my eyes a little bit. Uh, good evening, Sister Odette. Good evening, Sister Sandra. Hallelujah. Good to see y'all this evening. Hallelujah. So good to see you. I hope my shirt don't blind you. I know it's a little bright. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The Bible said, let your light shine. So I'm trying to let this shirt just shine through a little bit today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> my wife, I'm like, oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just thank him right now. What a mighty God we serve this evening. What a wonderful God we serve this evening. I'm going to start out by reading from uh, Psalms 8 tonight. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work, in thy, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars of thou, which thou has ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him and thy children that, ch that thou visited or cared for them? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the fields, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent! is thy name in all the earth. How many of you know God has an excellent name? It's an awesome name. We call him Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Shalom, the God of our peace. We call him El, Yahweh, Jehovah, because he is, I am, that I am. And we thank him right now, El Shaddai. He is the source of all of our blessings. He is Jehovah Shabbat, the Lord of heavens, host of armies of angels. Yes, we thank you, Jehovah Tashikinu, the God of our righteousness. He is Emmanuel, God with us. How excellent is his name in all the earth. Father God, we thank you this evening that you sit high, God, but you're looking low. Father, you're smiling down upon us. You've opened your windows of heaven and poured out upon us blessings that we have room enough not to receive. You poured out healing. You poured out deliverance. You poured out salvation. You poured out peace. Lord God, we just thank you this evening because your name is excellent. Your name is wonderful. Psalms 96 said, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Somebody said, KLC is good, but our God is better than good. Hallelujah. He's great. He's awesome. He's mighty. He's loving. He's powerful. He's magnificent. He's kind. He's superior. There is no God like our God. Father, we just thank you right now. We love you. We honor you right now. 
We praise him this evening. Lord God, we thank you that you took us out and brought us in safe. Lord God, we thank you that you think about us. You care for us. God, you care so much that you gave your only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Lord, we thank you for everlasting life. We know life on this earth will end, but God, we praise you for everlasting life with you. For the joy of you, Lord, is our strength. You are the strength of our lives today. Lord, in you, we move, live, and have our being. Father God, without you, we can do a little, but with you, all things are possible. Father God, we thank you this evening because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, who give us height, might, power, and ability. We thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Somebody lift him up. Wherever you are, give him praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We praise him. We love him. We lift him up. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all of the praises right now. If you don't praise him, somebody or something around you will praise God. The dogs will go to barking. The trees will go to, go to waving, moving. Hallelujah. Something will give God praise. So it might as well be you. Father God, we thank you for the breakthrough. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for saving our families. We thank you how you rescued us. Lord God, we thank you how you picked us up out of a horrible pit and you set up high up on a rock. Father, we thank you this evening because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you right now because you've given us strength. You've given us love. Your mercy and compassion. It was new this morning when we woke up. And Lord God, we thank you that you didn't give us over to death. That's meant you got a purpose and a plan. And Father, we seek to do your will and your good pleasure. We just want to thank you, Lord, because even though we're not who we want to be, but we thank God that we are holy, we are royalty, we are chosen, we are holy people, we are peculiar people, and we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just want to praise him. Hallelujah. Let me say something to you. Your situation may not be the best right now in your eyes, but it's not the worst. Hallelujah. Look around. Look at where you are. Some of you, you're watching me. You at home. There's somebody who don't have a home. Some of you, you got family around you. There's somebody who don't have family. Don't even know where their family are. Some of you, you could be driving right now and you passing by people at the bus stop. You better give God praise for that car. Give God praise for the hoop there. Give God praise that the engine light may be on, but it ain't going to be on forever. Give God praise and thanksgiving for the house, for the couch you're on, the bed you're going to sleep in tonight. Thank God that you got children and a husband or a wife or son or a daughter. Somebody love you right now. Sure, they getting on your nerve, but praise God anyhow. Say hallelujah in the house right now. Thank you, Lord. Just thank him right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because there's somebody right now, they're in the hospital. There's somebody, somebody's crying out to God for, and Father, we come into agreement for their healing. We come for their deliverance. Lord God, we thank you. What the doctor said may be a fact, but the word of God says, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. And that's the truth right there. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We lift you up. We come to esteem him high. Hallelujah. Father, here we are. Use us. Just as we are, we thank him tonight, God. Thank you, thank you Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let me say something to you, my brothers and sisters. There's somebody worse than you right now. There's somebody who can't call on Jesus. There's somebody who cannot call on the name of the Lord. But God gave you and I the ability to lift up his name. He gave us the ability to call him right now. 
And I just want to call him and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you that we step out on faith tonight. We have this, the, the grain of a mustard seed faith, and we step out tonight, Lord God. We step out. Somebody say this after me. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I step out, I step out on, faith. on faith. I don't know. What it look like, what it's going to be like, but I believe you showed me a prosperous end, an open door, a promise from heaven, and I rejoice because my God has given me the victory, and I prosper in the will of God. In Jesus' name, Jesus. give us some praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. <clears throat> Y'all know what? Thank you. I'm rejoicing tonight. And let me tell you why I'm rejoicing. Because as I look out and I see the names, and there's some who I can't see, but I do recognize this, and I'm rejoicing. Because Jesus said, but the thief... Coming but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come so that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Have it in the overflow. Have it to the full. Let me tell you something. You're here tonight because the devil couldn't stop you. The devil couldn't convince you that God is not for you. And the devil is mad as hell right now because you're rejoicing, giving God the praise. And I just want to let him know, somebody, let's do like Kirk Franklin's song say. Let's just stomp on the devil's head because God has given us the victory. So on the count of three, I need you to stomp. I need you to stomp with me. Somebody may want to jump up and down and use both feet to let the devil know he's under our feet tonight. So on the count of three, let's stomp on the head of the enemy of the devil. Hallelujah. Say this after me. Say, devil. devil. In, the In the name of Jesus. I stomp, I stomp on your head. On your head. Hallelujah. All right. Y'all ready on the count of three? Let's stomp. One, two, three. Three, stop. Woo! Stop on his head. Let him know he's under your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God has given you the victory. Don't have no doubt. And if you're going to have fear, let it be reverential. Let it be the kind of fear that lifts God up. Not the kind of fear that stops you from moving forward. Baby, I don't care. You opened that business last week, last month. It may seem like ain't nothing happening. But I'm here to tell you tonight that the devil is a liar. Let me tell you what the word of God says. Hallelujah. I don't say it too much and I'm going to keep saying it. And I'm coming right now talking from Psalms 1 and 3. And it says this. And it's talking about those of us that are blessed, that are happy, that are fortunate, that are empowered to prosper. It said, but he and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Let me tell you something. It may seem like there's a famine in the land, but your roots and the Lord run deep. There's provision where your roots are. Hallelujah. You're going to bring forth fruit. You're going to reap a harvest. Just keep trusting in God. Keep believing in God. Don't give up on God. Why? Because God is not giving up on you. Don't leave God. Don't forsake him. Why? Because he's not forsaking you. God spoke into your life. You stepped out on faith and God's going to turn it around. He's going to lift it up. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm ready. For the, for the breakthrough and the overflow, and the overflow. In, Jesus in Jesus name give God praise hallelujah thank hallelujah thank you Lord yes thank you Lord say this after me say I am, I am like, a tree like a tree planted, planted rooted, rooted and grounded, and grounded by, the by the rivers of water my roots Run deep, Run deep in the word of God. In the word of God. And, I bring forth and I bring forth 
My fruit in due season. My leaf, my faith, my hope, my trust, my belief in God, his word, and the pastor shall not wither, fade away, or die out. I declare whatever I do, I put my hands to. It shall prosper. Because I am anointed and appointed for this time, this season. I am instant, in season, out of season. I am blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Something has to break. Hallelujah. Something has to break. Something has to break right now. Hallelujah. It's breaking. Somebody right now give God a break for praise. So hallelujah. Give him a break for praise. Stomp, cry, laugh, shout. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. You wrote the vision. Now it's time to run with it. Hallelujah. You can't get upset. You can't get denied. Hallelujah. You can't get off track. You can't get off path. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Scripture that I know, but I haven't, haven't said it in a long time. I thought about it, but I want to say it to you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is when the children of Israel, they was offering burnt offerings to God. Hallelujah. And so he was just letting them know some things. And he said this right here. He said, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest. Hallelujah. Somebody see that? Cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Now, this is what he spoke to Noah. This is what he told Noah. That seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, should never see, never stop, as long as the earth remains. Let me tell you something. You got this seed on the inside of you. You have planted this word in you. It's time for a harvest. It's time for you and I, my brothers and sisters, it's time for us to reap that harvest that we've been believing God for. It's time for us to reap that spiritual harvest or to manifest on this earth. You've been watering your seed, hopefully. You've been putting the word on it. <clears throat> You've been believing it. The devil tried to put some weeds in there. He threw some weeds in there. He threw some doubt and some fear and some anxiety. But let me tell you, like Jesus said, hey, let it grow together. We'll separate it at harvest time. Well, God, we believe right now it's harvest time. We believe for the manifestation of the seeds that we've sown in our hearts for the seeds that we sown in the lives of others. Lord God, we thank you tonight for opening your windows of heaven and pouring out blessings upon us that we have room enough not to receive. Lord God, we thank you tonight. Yes, God, we have spoken your words over our lives and our family, and we thank you in the name of Jesus that whatever we ask of the Father, we don't ask it amiss. We don't ask for selfish gain. We ask it in the name of Jesus, and it's done for us right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you tonight. We're thanking you right now. There are seeds of joy and seeds of love. Seeds of financial breakthrough. Seeds, hallelujah. Yes, of breaking ground. Seeds, God, of increase. Seeds of healing. Seeds of delivering. Father God, they're manifesting right now that the harvest is now. That the harvest is now. Father, we thank you that you're bringing the harvest from the north, south, east, and west. That even our enemies are bringing us a harvest of good. Father God, we thank you tonight 
that the blessing of the Lord rests upon us. Hallelujah. You made us rich and you're not adding no sorrow with it. Father God, we can rejoice, God. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Give him praise for your breakthrough and your deliverance right now. Listen, let me say something to y'all. Let me say something to you. You cannot be scared. Hallelujah. You cannot be scared to tell God what he said he's going to do for you. You cannot be scared to speak a word. Hallelujah. You can't be afraid to speak the word. You can't be afraid to talk to your heavenly father. Listen, if you ask your mom and your daddy for a dollar, why are you scared to ask your heavenly father, who is the source of all your blessings, for what you desire? You following him? You following the word? So why not step out on faith and ask God for the impossible? Because didn't Jesus tell us, oh, hallelujah, I'm going to read you all the scripture. I got to read it to you so you'll know that that pastor not just making this up. Hallelujah. Let me read y'all the scripture. Because see, some of us, we're looking at some situations and we about ready to throw in the towel. But I'm here to tell you. I'm going to say this in, a, in, in, in an earthly way, but I mean this in uh, all the spiritual ways possible. Man up. Man up. Woman up. Put your big boy and your big girl drawers on and come on, man up, woman up. Time to stop crying, moaning and hoping. It's time to put some action to it. But look at what Jesus said in Mark 10, 27. Hallelujah. Mm. Look at what he said. Huh? I'm going to go through the whole thing. Y'all go back and read chapter 10 on your own time. But Jesus said this right here. He said, with men, it is impossible, but not with God, for with God, all things are possible. Now, did Jesus say some things are possible? Did he say a little thing is possible? A few things are possible? No, he said all things are possible. Is it possible for God to deliver you? Yes. Is it possible for God to heal you? Yes. Is it possible for God to deliver your family? Yes. Is it possible for God to make you rich? Yes. Is it possible for God to deliver you from a situation that you're in? Yes. Is it possible for God to make you the head and not the tail? He did it, but the answer is still yes. Hallelujah. So you got to know that all things are possible with God, especially to those of us that believe. Say this after me. Say, Father. I believe, I, believe. I, know I know that all things, all things are, possible are possible with you. With you. Forgive, me, Father, Forgive me, Father, for doubting you. For doubting you. I, repent I repent for my unbelief, for my unbelief. And, I and I rejoice because, because there, are no limits, there are no limits, no boundaries, no boundaries. with you, Father. Thank you, Father, Thank you, Father. For, your for your blessing that's made me rich. Made me rich. And, you and you added no sorrow, no, sorrow. no regrets, no, regrets. No, sadness. no sadness with it. With it. In Jesus' in name, Jesus. give God the praise. Hallelujah. All things are possible to him that believes. Do you believe him? Do you trust him? Hallelujah. Somebody say all things are possible when I believe. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do that again. If you're close to a mirror, look at, the, look at yourself in the mirror. If you're like me, you ain't got no mirror, but stick your hands out. I want you to stick your hands out because you're holding two mirrors. Huh? Huh? Act like you're holding two mirrors. Say this after me. Say all things are possible with God. All things are possible for me 
when I believe, and I believe in the word of God and the prophet, therefore I am established and I am prospering in Jesus' name. Give God some praise. Listen, tonight is all about your faith. It's all about you believing. See, I don't need you to believe just because I told you to believe. I need you to believe because the word says, have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed. The word tells us to believe in God. The word tells us to trust in the Lord with all our heart. Don't, don't believe just because I say believe. I want you to say because I had an encounter. I have a relationship with God. Therefore, I believe. See, I believe because of my relationship with God. I talk with God. I walk with God. And God talks to me. Sometimes God has to carry me. But it don't stop me from believing. Hallelujah. Somebody say this after me. Say, I believe in my God. He will. Supply all my need according to his riches and glory. And I declare, my God is turning my situations. He's turning them air around. And every time I turn around, he's blessing me, increasing me. Favoring me in Jesus' name, giving praise right now. Now listen, this is what I want us to do. I want to say that part again about every time I turn around, he's favoring me, he's increasing me, he's blessing me. I mean, he's healing me, he's giving me the victory every time I turn around. And after I say that, the last time when I say, okay, now turn around, I want us to turn around. And after we come back forward, I need us to give God some jubilee praise, some crazy praise. You know, just let all the heaven know, hey, listen, if you're in an apartment, your neighbor's going to think something wrong with you, but you just praising God and maybe it'll go through the walls and jump on them to it. Hallelujah. So come on, say this after me. Say, Father, every time. I turn, around. I turn around. You're blessing me. You're, blessing. You're increasing You're me. Increasing. You're favoring me. You're prospering me. You're healing me. You're delivering me. In Jesus' name. Come on, y'all. Turn around and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for the turnaround. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the increase. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody thank God for your promotion. Hallelujah. Your promotion is right now. Somebody thank you for thank you for increase in that business. It's right now. Don't worry about your competition. Don't worry about things seem like they slow. You keep praising God and watch God turn that situation around. Watch God turn that situation around. God called you to be the head and not the tail. He gonna put you on top. You just keep doing what you supposed to do and watch God prosper you and, and favor you and bless you and increase you in the name of Jesus. Give him praise. Hallelujah. It's restoration time. Somebody say this out to me. It's manifestation time. Come on, say it again. It's manifestation time. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Woo, that was wonderful. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. Man, man, I had a great time. I don't know about you all, but I had a great time in the Lord. And I just want to thank you all for joining me. But I want you to believe God for the impossible. Let me tell y'all something. I'm believing God for the impossible 
in my personal life, with my family. I'm believing God for the impossible with church, with Peniel Covenant Christian Center and our families. I'm believing God for the impossible with our business, Church Chick Tees. It won't be the only one. It's, it's the first one. I'm believing God for your impossibilities. Hallelujah. But I just need you to stay in faith. Stay in the word. There may be some storms that may come, but I want you to know something, my brother and sister. Don't give up. Because if the devil don't come at you, that means you're not on the path. But guess what? Time and chance happens to us all. Christian people, we go through, we get sick. We go through financial troubles. We go through all kinds of hell. But guess what? God delivers us. Doesn't mean he always allow us to keep the house. But he allow us to get another one that's better than the one that we gave up. We may not get to keep the car. But he gives us a better car than the one that we thought was the best we could get. The marriage may get shaken. But God can improve it. God can change it. We just got to believe he's a healer and he's a restorer. So believe that God is giving you the victory and don't give up on God because he's never going to give up on you. He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. So with that being said, let me get some shouts out. Like I said, thank y'all for joining me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Big shout out to Charlie and Tarantula, <laughs> Tarantula Wilson watching this tonight. Girl, listen, keep doing your thing. When you go into your restaurant, I, I need you to do something. If you have not done so already, I need you to get some oil. I don't care what kind of oil you got. From the front to, to the back door, I need you to anoint that restaurant. Matter of fact, anoint your whole business. The whole establishment where you are. You just walk up and down and just pray and declare favor. Increase. It's coming. It's there already. Because everything you need is in you already. Just trust God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cousin Tanny Poole, good to see you from St. Pete. Love you. Look forward to coming over there one day real soon so that we can pray together. Hallelujah. So we can have a good time shouting the Lord. Carolyn Edwards Gills, good to see you tonight. Been praying for you. Thanking God. Hallelujah for the, your deliverance. You put it in there. Thank God for your healing. Thank God. Hallelujah. Good to see you again. Sandra, you know I love that middle name. God favored me sample. That's right. God has favored you. Healing, deliverance, wholeness. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Why? Increase is yours. Hallelujah. Pastor Angela Roca Dixon. Keep believing, keep trusting, thanking you. Looking forward to a wonderful time in the word tomorrow night. Hallelujah, call you shortly. Uh, James Crawford, good to see you, my brother. Tell your wife we said hello. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. Hallelujah, you're catching fish. God going to use you to catch some people too. Tell them about the goodness of the Lord. I know you're not afraid to let them know. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't do what you do. Hallelujah. Nita Scott, my Nita, good to see you. Standing in the gap for you. Believe in everything we talked about. Hallelujah. Thank God for the breakthrough. Hallelujah. Keep your head up. Keep praying. Never stop trusting God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm trying to see. I know there's some other people on here. I just don't. Huh? Pearl Man. Pearl Man, good to see you. I know I saw your name earlier. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just keep believing, God. Your breakthrough is now. God has heard your prayers. He's answering your prayers now. Hallelujah. Watch this come in the past. He's going to do it right now. Hallelujah. The turnaround. Don't forget, when you turn around, God has already changed that situation. Lavinia Ray Rowe. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. I'm glad you keep tuning in. I pray that God will do whatever it is you need him to do because I know he's turning everything around. Hallelujah. Mary Stacy, good to see you tonight, sis. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Just give him a shout of praise right now in the name of Jesus. And don't be afraid to say yes when that time comes. Dorothy Peterson Johnson, love you, cuz. Keep looking up. Keep doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. I thank God for you every single day. You're such a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And listen, to those of y'all who I can't see because you're on another channel, hey, I do apologize, but I can only view one at a time. So I thank God, though, for you joining us tonight. I pray you'll join me tomorrow. Those of you that can, 12 o'clock p.m., we're going to have another spiritual time, our noonday prayer tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We're going to be praying again. I don't know what the Lord going to do, but hey, if it's anything like tonight, I believe it's going to be fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Cousin Tanner, I see you. You're praying. Believe Judy Holmes, Joan Crawford, God, do what you need to do in their life. And I thank God for my beautiful wife over to my side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all hear, hear her tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And listen, I want to just say this. Listen, if, if, if you're in the West Palm Beach area, Tri-County area, come out, visit with us because you never know what God may have in store for you during a live service. If you're able, I'm asking you to get there. We're at Yeager Middle School. Every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, we start with prayer and we have a good time. My wife did an awesome job on Sunday. Hallelujah. It, it's almost like that song say, you ought to been there. Hallelujah. But I'm just going to let you know we it's, it's just a different experience. I understand. Hallelujah. But thank God. Thank God for you. So I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for Bible study. 12 o'clock noonday for prayer. And listen, share this with others. Tell them to go on YouTube. They can get this on YouTube. They can get a whole lot more on YouTube. I ain't got to look through my Facebook page. Just go to YouTube, get the sermons and the prayers, and just be blessed. So on the behalf of myself, Pastor James, my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family, the Wilkinson clan, hallelujah, the most beautifulest, awesome, amazing, wonderful, prosperous, blessed, and anointed church family of all of God's creation today, Peniel Covenant Christian Center. I love you all and our Peniel Covenant Christian Center Facebook family. I love y'all too, beautiful people. Have a good night. God bless. Love you. See you tomorrow. Peace. Hallelujah.